<laughs> Hi, Scott Orland of Cinema Magazine. For all you Outlander fans, you're about to get a little insight into the new season. We have the star of the show, Chris, Katrina Balfe. First of all, congratulations on the show. Thank you. What I love about this is every time we're kind of taken to a new location, there's something different that we get to experience. It's not repetitious. Introduce no. us a little bit to this new season. Wow, well, this season is, is very different. I mean, we meet this family, and they are immigrants in America, and um, they are... Uh, this season is very much about home and finding a new home, settling down. Um, of course, there's a lot of trials and tribulations because it's Outlander and it's never smooth sailing. But I think we get to explore such different sides of all the characters this season, Claire especially. Um, it's a much more, I guess, nurturing and quieter side of Claire than I think we've seen before. And for both Jamie and Claire, we get to see them as parents in a different way, maybe, um, which I think is, is really cool. But it's also to the, the history of the show and where it's kind of set. We're right before the Civil War. Yeah. So how much does that landscape lend to the storyline? It's huge. I mean, it, this is America sort of right before it, it forms into what we know as it today. Um, you know, it's, we're in the colonies. There are the battles with the regulator, regulators are starting. Um, it's where a lot of people are settling. You know, so many Scottish people came over and became settlers in North Carolina and the Appalachian Mountains and the Smokies and around that area. And it's, it's interesting because you see that obviously there were people here before and the Native Americans are their neighbors and we explore the, the kind of relationship between them. Um, obviously, we meet Aunt Jocasta, who has a plantation, and it's also the time of slavery. So there's a lot of stuff that we're touching on in this season that has ripple effects in what's going on today. And that was really interesting for us as non-Americans to explore that time in American history. It's, it's really fascinating. Over the course of these myriad of seasons, you've also had uh, the opportunity to kind of showcase different types of fashion. Uh -huh. And now you're in North Carolina, it's not quite as elegant as it has been in other well, we have, we have some elegant moments in, in River Run, um, but definitely I actually loved uh, where the costumes got to this season. You know, we, we have those moments where we're in Wilmington or at River Run, which are a little bit more the traditional kind of gowns that we've kind of done before. Um, but when Jamie and Claire and their family end up at Fraser's Ridge, it's real frontier Claire and, and frontier Jamie and there's like animal skins and you know old men's coats and belts and all of that and it, it's just it feels so strong and earthy um, and it was it was fun and also much warmer than the other things so it was good fun. One of the things that I think some of your uh, rabid fans appreciate about the show it's its nod to romance, that we've mm -hmm. kind of lost it in so many different aspects of our media. And yet this show, at the heart and soul of it, is about these two people, are they destined to be together, and what they have to go through. Yeah. Talk about how it's kind of evolved your own concept of romance. Oh, God. Um, it's so funny because so many people, uh, when you're doing press or you meet fans, and they're like, I wish my husband would say that. And you're like, well, all you need is Diana Gabaldon to write his dialogue, and then you'd be fine. But... No, I think it is, it's a, quite a traditional, aspirational love story at, at the heart of this show. And, um, you know, I, I don't know because I haven't done many other shows, but it's such a nice thing to go to work and love be the primary theme, I suppose, of what you do. And um, whether or not it's a coincidence, love has come into my life, which is very nice. So I'm going to say thank you to Outlander for that. But, uh, yeah, it's just nice to be sort of promoting something positive and put something positive out there in, in the world, um, especially at the moment. Switching gears just for a little bit, while you were here in Los Angeles, you're also filming a new movie. Yeah. Sadly, you have to work with two young novice actors, oh, Christian Bale and Matt I mean, Damon. It must be struggle. horrible for you. <laughs> Talk a little bit about what excited you about that project, that you wanted to kind of expand and work on that. Ouch. Um, well, first of all, a chance to work with um, Jim, James Mangold, who is amazing and has done some of the most incredible films before. Um, getting to work with Christian, Christian Bale and, and Matt Damon, you know, those two novice actors. Um, that was also quite an exciting prospect. Um, but this is also, it's a great sports movie and I love sports films and I love, um, I was always more into Formula One rather than this kind of endurance racing. But uh, it's been fascinating learning all about Le Mans 
but my part of this film is this beautiful family relationship and the sacrifices families have to make when somebody goes out and puts their life on the line every day and in this instance it's car racing but as we know that happens with so many professions and sports um, so it was just it's a beautiful it's a fantastically written script first of all um, but it's a beautiful film and it's a beautiful family dynamic that we're exploring and um, it's also got really really cool cars <laughs> in really really cool sets so I'm really excited about it and it's just been such a nice difference as well to, to what I do for my day job so it's been great. Well I the uh, danger aspect as an entertainment journalist. <laughs> yeah, you know it's you put your life there. on the line every day Scott. <laughs> Thank you Katrina somebody gets it. It's always such a pleasure congratulations and this is Scott Orland until next time.